Welcome back to MetLife Stadium and the New York Jets franchise, everyone. This week, the Jets have their second meeting with the New England Patriots, the Pats, and by way of a couple of ties on their record, have the lead in the AFC East by a game over the Jets. That means that in order to assure themselves of a spot in the postseason, New York will need to not only win this game, but next week's game against the Seahawks. That is not going to be an easy feat. Deshaun Watson and the Super Bowl hungry Patriots are not going to roll over in this game. He has some pretty good weapons on offense in Sony Michelle and Nikhil Harry, and that will be a test for this number one rated Jets defense. Even a bigger test will be to see if the New York offense is able to put some drives together that end in points. Something that hasn't been so easy in the past few weeks. Guys like Dorian O'Daniel and Stephon Gilmore will not make it easy at all for the Jets to push the ball down the field. I think it is really going to be interesting to see if this defense, which has undergone a little bit of a philosophy change in the past few weeks of concentrating on putting pressure on the quarterback and stopping the run, will Watson be able to exploit some of the holes that are left in the defensive backfield because of it? And more importantly, I think, Will Darnold be able to move the ball down the field against this Patriot defense of wrecking crew? Let's find out as the Jets take on the Patriots here on the Football Freaks Sports Network. Second year man Matt Reese out of Rutgers is back to receive the kickoff. Trent Lyon gets us underway and it's downed in the end zone. Bringing it out to the 25 yard line. And out comes Deshaun Watson. 35 touchdowns and only 10 interceptions. He has almost 3,700 yards to his credit this season. And obviously looking for more tonight. Sony Michelle takes it out to the right and he is stopped by Robert Ramirez on the edge. And here you see the starting lineup for the Patriots. The big story is going to be Sony Michel. Will he be able to make headway against this number one rushing defense of the Jets? And a pass out to Galladay, and he's tackled at about the 30 yard line, bringing up third and five. Watson back to pass, completes it over the middle to Michel to the 36, and he has the first down for the Patriots. Now the ball given to Michelle again, and Blake Cashman gets him in the backfield for a two-yard loss. Now third and 10. Watson back to pass, completes it out to Matthew Carter on the right side, and he doesn't get anywhere near the sticks. Though the Patriots will have to punt, and here comes Sam Darnold and his numbers are not great that is granted but will he be able to push the jets down the field the first play is a screen oh daniel tackles jackson for only a two yard gain and up the middle goes jackson for a very short gain and here is a look at the defense of the Patriots. The offensive line is strong, but Dorian O'Daniel in the middle of the field and Stephon Gilmore, well, even J.C. Jackson can cause a lot of problems if the offense isn't on their game and almost intercepted by Dorian O'Daniel. See the trouble that he can make in the middle of that field so the Patriots get it back at their own 28 yard line and the first play is given to Michelle and he does not get anywhere Ja'Kai Polite stops him for a one yard loss third and ten Watson back to pass 
and a leaping catch by Kenny Galladay out to the 45 yard line, leaping over Jamal Adams, and that doesn't happen very often. Sony Michelle tries to make some room up front and gets stopped for a three yard loss. Watson fakes the handoff to Michelle and he is dropped in the backfield by Marcus May all the way back at the 43. Third and 22 and a completion to Freeman and he does not get even to midfield so quite short of the first down yardage and a punt is upcoming. The Jets take over at their own 23. The pass complete to Howard and he gets tripped up and dropped at the 48 yard line. A 25 yard pass play almost out to midfield and the stretch play out to Jackson doesn't get anywhere. Now third and six. The pass is intercepted. Veteran Justin Evans with the interception takes it back to the 45 yard line. And that is the end of the first quarter. So Watson hands off to Michelle and he has lots of room out to the right side and inside jet territory all the way down to the 38. Third and seven and a long throw out of bounds intended for Nikhil Harry. Watson throws it incomplete. Wyatt Sands comes on for a 52 yard field goal and it is good. That starts our scoring here in the second quarter with the Patriots three and the Jets nothing. Jackson goes up the middle and is stopped at the 31 yard line after a six yard pickup. The pass to Carl Arsenault getting behind the defense and he is gone all the way. Touchdown Jets. A 69 yard pass play and he gets behind J.C. Jackson and there is nothing but green in front of him and it's a touchdown New York. With that the Jets take the lead 7-3. to three. Watson out of the shotgun now. Throws complete. Ryan Izzo tackled at the 31 by Ja'Kai Polite. Third and six. Watson Complete to Horton, and that is a first down out to the 40-yard line. Out of the shotgun again. Michelle on the counter play. Has lots of room. Is he going to be caught? And he is at the five-yard line. What a run by Sony Michelle, but did you see the speed of Julian Love? coming in for that tackle. And Watson goes down back at the 12 yard line. Demarcus Faulkner making the sack. Third and goal. The fake handoff and all day to throw it. Watson finally throws it out of the back of the end zone. Can't find anybody to throw the ball to. Fourth and goal. Wyatt Sands puts through the field goal and it is seven to six Jets. Now the Jets from their own 24. Darnold out of the shotgun and throws a screen pass to Jackson, has lots of room. He's out to the 50, to the 40, 30. Is he gonna score? No, he isn't down at the four yard line. Taken down by Caleb Reese, but Hassan Reddick is injured on the play. He's on the sideline, seems to be okay. And a pass out of the backfield to Jackson, and he gets down to the two. Second and goal. The handoff to Wesco. He is stopped at the goal line. Third and goal. 
They give it to Esco again, and he's in there for the score. Touchdown, Jets. And that, with the extra point, will make it 14-6 in favor of New York. Now from the 25. And the Patriots put some points on the board before halftime, and Michelle is taken down in the backfield by Demarcus Faulkner, which brings us to the two-minute warning. Second and 14. Watson in the backfield, completes it out to Harry, and it's out of bounds at the 38-yard line, but that gives the Patriots a first down. The pass over the middle to Horton, and he's got an eight-yard gain. Second and two, and Taj Little gets to Watson back at the 39. The pass to Izzo is complete out to the 46-yard line, not moving the sticks. And that gives the ball back to the Jets. Darnold throws his second interception of the game. Stephon Gilmore picks it off and is tackled at the 31-yard line. 52 seconds left in the first half. That puts the Patriots in excellent position to possibly even tie up this football game with a two-point conversion. The pass to Horton and out of bounds at the 15-yard line, first down. Watson in from the shotgun, throws complete. Freeman is tackled at the five, but the Patriots have to take a time out. Third and one, the pass to Horton, and it's a touchdown, New England. Five yards is all they needed, and that was accomplished with ease. Nobody even close to Horton. And will they go for two points, or will they be satisfied with a one-point lead for the Jets? And they are indeed. 14-13 is your score here at halftime. Now let's go to Eurocat Baby for a halftime report. With only one point separating these teams, we have an exciting game to get you back to. However, this weekend has a lot of teams vying for playoff spots. One is the tight race in the AFC North, with the Ravens and Browns going head to head this weekend. Both teams are at eight and six on the season and will be playing for the lead in that division. The loser could possibly miss out on a playoff spot altogether, depending on how they play in week 17. Over in the NFC West, it's a complicated situation. The Cardinals and the Seahawks lead the division at a mark of 6-8 and eight on the season. And depending on what happens in these last two games, we could have a division winner with a losing record going into the playoffs. Back to our game tonight, Darnold has thrown two first-half interceptions that already cost the Jets a touchdown as the half came to a close. Will New York be able to overcome that to take the lead in the AFC East? Stay with us to find out because we'll be right back. Welcome back everyone to MetLife Stadium here in East Rutherford, New Jersey. Both teams running attacks are being held in check tonight and with Darnold having a very inaccurate night, this could get very interesting heading into the second half. With a win here, the Jets would sweep the Patriots this season and assure themselves of a head-to-head -head tiebreaker if it comes to that. Can New York get it done? Let's find out as we continue our coverage here on a special edition of Sunday Night Football here on Thursday night. The Jets starting out at their own 25-yard line. Darnold takes the snap, gives it to Jackson, has lots of room, 
And does he get the first down? No. They're going to mark him a yard shy. And he picks it up on second effort on second down. First and 10 from the 37. And Jacobs takes it out to the left, has lots of room, almost goes out of bounds, and takes it down to the 29-yard line. The Jets coming out of the locker room in a running mode. And this is a play-action pass, and Darnold is dumped. Hassan Reddick gets to him for a seven-yard loss. Now third and 20. The pass goes incomplete, intended for Howard down the left side, and he has to play a little defense in order to knock that one away. Second and 13. The pass complete to Izzo, and he has the first down all the way out to the 30. A 17-yard pickup. And now Michelle alone in the backfield. He gets the ball and he's taken down before he can get really out of the backfield. So third and nine. The pass goes to Horton over the middle and he does not get to the sticks. He's stopped by Lorenzo Carter. So fourth and three, the punt is on its way. Howard fields it at the 11 and spins his way all the way out to the 37. A 26 yard return that really puts the Jets in much better position to start this drive. Darnold seven of 15 with two interceptions. And this one is complete to Herndon and he's tackled at the 43 for a seven yard gain. The handoff goes to Jackson. First down, up the middle to the 48. Now again, another run by Jackson. Finds a little room, and he's down to the 42 for a nine-yard pickup. The pass to Herndon over the middle. Just a quick little pass out to the tight end. And this one, Darnold completes to another tight end. Jordan Thomas and he does not get to the sticks and that is the end of the third quarter and Trent Lyon comes on for the field goal and it's up and through the middle hits the camera in the middle of the goal post but it is good nonetheless 17-13 Watson Trying to push the Patriots down the field. He is in trouble and goes down. Demarcus Faulkner gets him for a one yard sack. Second and 11. Watson again with the throw to Harry and he's out to the 30 yard line. Third and five. The pass complete to it. A completely alone Ryan Izzo. And he has the first down all the way out to midfield. After a false start, another pass to midfield. He gives the Patriots five yards. And Sony Michelle on the pass out of the backfield to the right side gets the first down. Now on third and 10, pass to Izzo over the middle, and it's fourth and three. The Patriots are staying on the field. Michelle up the middle, and did he get enough for the first down? Yes, he did. Now on second and 10, the pass over the middle to Michelle, down to the 19 yard line. Third and three. The pitch out to Michelle, and he has the first down, taking it to the 14 yard line. Second and 10. And Watson goes down in the arms of Demarcus Faulkner, his third sack of the evening. 
third and 19. The pass complete to Izzo to the 14 yard line. Fourth and 10 and out comes Wyatt Sands. And he puts the field goal through. 17-16, the Jets still hold a one point advantage. After a three and out by the Jets. Just over two minutes left to play. Complete out to Kenny Galladay at the 31. And it brings us to the two minute warning. Watson out of the shotgun. Back to pass. Moves around to the pocket a little bit and completes it out to Harry. Let's go, let's go. Inside Jet territory at the 45. Now again, it's complete over the middle to the 37 yard line. Now in the hurry up offense. And that one is complete to Gallaty on the edge to the 26, Izzo. Catches that one over the middle and that brings up a timeout. Third and two and Sony Michelle cannot get out of the backfield. A field goal by Sands and it is 19-17 New England with 43 seconds left. The Jets starting from their own 24. The screen pass to Jackson and he makes a juke and is down to the 36. A far cry from the 35 yard line of the Patriots. And Darnold steps up in the pocket, throws deep and it's caught. John Ross down at the four yard line. And Darnold Stops the clock with four seconds left. Lion on for a 21 yard game winning field goal. And it's up and good. One second left on the clock. And Lion kicks it short. It has to be fielded. And time runs out. Reese is tackled at the 30 yard line and the Jets are victorious. 20 to 19 is your final score. What a finish everyone. From the score at halftime, I was certain we were in for a tight contest and there was no disappointment. Admittedly, I was really disheartened when the Pats scored that last field goal, but that final drive with its catch by John Ross to set up the go-ahead score was outstanding. <laughs> well, if you're a Jets fan, that is. Neither team could break the 100-yard mark running the ball, but passing was where it was at. Even with the interceptions that Darnold threw in the first half, that didn't stop the Jets from outgaining the Patriots in yardage in the passing game. Although Watson played an outstanding game, the Jets defense came up big tonight, harassing him and pretty much getting the best of the New England O-line. Something that Darnold did well tonight was use Jackson out of the backfield. He was over 100 yards on only six receptions, so I would think that Darnold needs to keep that in mind as the Jets head off into the playoffs. May and Adams headed the tackle task force, which is what I would kind of expect with the Jets' defensive design. Uh, that is to stop the run. The defensive player of the game for the Jets, though, was Demarcus Faulkner. He was a constant feature in the backfield for the Jets. I would say that he has a great future ahead of him, with only this being his second season in the league. Speaking of him, as a result of that performance tonight, he gets an upgrade to his abilities, this time getting a boost 
to his pass coverage skills. The last stop for the Jets here in the regular season is a trip to the West Coast to play the Seattle Seahawks. This is a must win for the Seahawks because both the Cardinals and the Seahawks won their games this weekend. That means that both teams are 7-8 and eight on the season. The Cardinals will be playing at Minnesota, and since the Vikings are staying home for the playoffs, they have absolutely nothing to lose. If both the Seahawks and Cardinals should lose, it would most likely be the Cardinals that would get the nod for playoff berth at 7-9 and nine on the season. Thus, the incentive for Seattle to win this next week, which given that they are banged up a bit with Bobby Wagner and Brian Berry out of the middle of the field, that would seem that the rest of the season that they're going to be out. Uh, so that means that the middle of the field may be just a little shy on depth, and the Jets need to be able to take advantage of that if they can. One thing is for sure, Russell Wilson and the Seattle offense will be pulling out all the stops to win at home next week. That's going to do it for this week's episode of the New York Jets franchise here on the Football Freaks Sports Network. Once again, the New York defense was your game ball winner tonight, not allowing the running game to flourish and putting just enough pressure on Watson to put a dent in the effectiveness of the passing attack as well. In order to ensure that they hold on to that first place spot, they need to leave Seattle with a win. Because if they lose and the Pats win, we would be in the same position with New England with the better record via their two ties during the season. Not an enviable situation. Can the Jets get it done? Be with us to find out when the Jets travel to Seattle to battle the Seahawks. And until we see you then, for Eurocat Baby and the rest of the crew, this is Husker Eurocat saying so long for now. And have a good day, everyone.